Hey everyone, this is Just a Tech and welcome back to the channel. So today we will see out a alternative method to jailbreak our iOS 16 and 15 devices through the ISO file method that I have been made for you guys. And in my recent previous videos, I've shown you some jailbreak videos like jailbreak on Mac or from WinRain method or from the Pelrin GUI Windows version. And if you are facing some issues with those methods, you can try this alternate method and it will work for you. So we will test out on both the devices like currently I have a iPhone 7 that is running on the iOS 15.7.8 that is the latest version for this device and also I have a iPhone 8 that is running on the iOS 16.6 .6, and that is also latest for those devices so we will see that how we can jailbreak it on your Windows machine and we will see the full tutorial and along with that if you have a iPhone 6s, 6s plus and iPhone SE first generation some users reported that their jailbreak is not working on those devices so we will see that how we can fix that issues on those particular devices. So now without further delays, let me just go to my computer screen and start this process. All right, now the first thing you need to download the special customized ISO file that I've been made for you guys. So to download that, you need to go to my blog and you will get the latest download links there. Or you can check out the video's description link. You will also get the direct links there. And also if you guys want the exclusive fast updates, you can join me on my telegram group or channel or other social media handle from this link. Now once you have downloaded the file, first you need to extract it. After that, you will get this ISO file. Next, you need to make the USB bootable with the help of a Rufus tool. You can also download the Rufus different version from their official website. Just google the Rufus tool and you will get this official website. You can download the 64-bit version or if you have an older PC, you can download the 32-bit or you can also use the portable or ARM64 version. So you can just download the right version according to your Windows system. So once you are ready, you can just open the Rufus tool. Now next, just insert the USB. You can also take a SD card with the SD card reader. After that, your USB name will show just select it from the list now next you need to import the ISO file that you have just downloaded or you can just drag and drop in the Rufus tool it will directly detect it now next you need to select the partition scheme of your system whether you have a MBR or GPT you can just select it according to that this ISO file support both 32-bit or 64-bit Intel or AMD and if you have a old BIOS it will work and if you have a new UEFI mode, it will also work. So you can just select the settings accordingly. Now after that, just simply click on start and it will start the bootable process. And also make sure you connect it the Wi-Fi before making the USB bootable as they are sometime it downloads some files and all the data on the USB will be removed. So make sure you back up the data before doing this. Alright now the bootable process is done, now you can close the Rufus tool and restart your system. Now next go to your BIOS settings or you can go to the boot manager settings where your all devices will show so that you can boot it from. Now you can see this is my boot manager. Your PC or your computer brand BIOS might be different. So you can check out on the internet like what are the BIOS key shortcut according to your model. Now you can see that there are both the modes showing UEFI and the legacy mode. So to enable that go to your BIOS and disable the secure mode that is very important. And after that you can see both the modes. Now you can select the booting option according to your system. You just need to select your USB on the top of the booting order and after that it will boot. This ISO file support both UEFI and the old legacy BIOS so both will work. And make sure that the secure boot is disabled. After that only it will boot. So now let me just select it. This is the UEFI mode for the new PC. So you can try to boot it from. Now here wait for 5 seconds and it will automatically load the Pelrain jailbreak. Now here is the interface of the Pelbrain plus the Chikrin Pongo is jailbreak for iOS 15 and 16 Windows version through the CLI method. Now this is the UEFI mode. If you have a older PC that having the legacy BIOS, you can also boot it from. Just let me show you. First I will just quit the terminal and type the reboot and hit on enter. After that your system will be reboot automatically. 
Now let me just go to the bio section again and this time I will select the old legacy bios so that I will show you the both method are working. So now you can see this is the old legacy bios for the older one system. Now both the mode work same so you can select according to your windows system. Now first connect your device. This is the iOS 16.6 on my iPhone 8 and make sure that for iPhone 8, 8 plus and iPhone X, 11 devices you need to turn off the passcode or touch ID or face ID before or after the jailbreak. First you need to connect your device and click on trust. After that you will see some warning on the terminal so just ignore that or just unplug or replug the device. After that you will see your device will go into the recovery mode automatically. Now just press enter key on the terminal. After that you need to press the DFU button combination according to your device so that it will proceed for the jailbreak. Now sometimes the jailbreak will be failed and you will see some warnings on the terminal and your device might be on the recovery mode again or it will on. So for that just quit the terminal by the control and C. After that type just a tick on terminal and press enter and the Pelerin jailbreak will come again. Now just retry and repeat the process again to the jailbreak. So in short just keep trying the jailbreak. If you face any error just retry it and it will surely work. Now on the recovery mode, now hit on enter on the terminal, press the DFU button key and it will proceed for the jailbreak again. Now this time you will see there is no error or warning on the terminal and the device will boot the Pongo S check run on the screen. So you can see that everything is working well. So if you face any error or warning, just retry the process and it will 100% work. Now the device is on again and wait for the Pelerin loader to appear on the home screen. Sometime it will take 1 or 2 minutes to appear. Make sure you connect it with the Wi-Fi and just wait for the Pelerin icon. So now you can see it's here. Now open it and install the package manager that comes with this Pelerin jailbreak. That is the Celio package manager and the Zebra package manager. So you can install any of them and also there are other settings to enable the tweaks, UI catch clear and other important settings. You can check it on the Pelerin loader. So now let me just install the Celio. Till then it's installing I will just jailbreak the iOS 15.7.8 on my iPhone 7. So the process is same. So to quit the terminal you just need to press the Ctrl plus C on the terminal and hit on enter. After that type just a tick and hit on enter again and you will see the Pelerin jailbreak will again start it. And now follow the same process. And if it's failed for the first attempt and you will see some warning on the terminal, just reconnect it and retry the process. So now you can see after some attempts it start proceeding for the jailbreak and you will see the Pongo OS loading on the device. So just wait for it to get complete. Now you can see the jailbreak is done. Open the Pelerin loader and install Celio or Zebra. And also after installation it will ask you to set the root password. You can set any password you want. I am just typing the sudo and confirm it. After that you will see the Celio on your home screen. Open it, update all the required libraries and package. And now you are ready to use the jailbreak. And now let's talk about the iPhone 6s, 6s Plus and iPhone AC first generation for iOS 15 devices. Sometimes if you try to jailbreak it, it will stuck on the Pongo OS loading bar or the Pongo OS screen will stuck on your device. Now to fix that, it's very simple. You just need to retry the command again. It will proceed and it, sometime it will stuck on the screen and sometime it will proceed so you can just try it if it's stuck you can follow the same process and it will work i've already made the dedicated video on this week through the pelnix method but if you want to use this you can try now hit on trust and run the command again after that simply start the chill break
now at this point for some user it will stuck here and for some user it will proceed so if it's stuck here just control c on the terminal it will quit the terminal type the just attack and hit on enter it will just retry the command again and your device will go to the booting stage so this is a simple fix if you have these kind of devices Now we have successfully jailbreak all these devices. Now go to your windows machine for that. Just quit the terminal by control and C and type the reboot and hit on enter. After that your system will be reboot automatically. Now unplug your USB stick and you will see your windows is there again. So that is how you can jailbreak the latest iOS 16.6 and 15.7.8 from iPhone 6s to iPhone X and other corresponding iPad model that support the Jigmint exploit. So you can also try the same process if you face any errors in other jailbreak. This will surely work for you. So that's all for this video. I hope you gain some knowledge and enjoying my content. So just hit the like button and if you're new here, subscribe to the channel for more cool updates. I will see you another one. So till then goodbye take care and peace out